Hi, in this video, we we'll learn about JSON.stringify in JavaScript. JSON.stringify converts an object to a JSON string. My name is Dhananjay Kumar. So to start with, let's say that you have an object called dog and that has two properties name foo and is as seven. Now this object can be printed like this an object but if you wish to convert that to a JSON string let's say dog a string is JSON dot stringify and here you can pass the object name and then on printing you see that a dog object has now converted to a JSON string not only object it can convert uh, an array to json string as well so let us say uh, we have an array here called cities i'll say names and that array has values foo i'm just putting some random values new date and we can use json.stringify to convert this array as a json string as well and here you see that we are getting output foo45 and it is converting that data object to a string value as well now json.stringify uh, deals with a special type such as undefined nan null and infinity differently for the object and differently for the array for example in an object i have color property and the value of color property is undefined let me go and comment this now you see that a value of color is undefined and as you see uh, focus on the output that what json.stringify is doing it has omitted uh, the property which value is set to undefined so for any property which value is undefined in an object, json.stringify does not include that while producing the output. Now let's change that to null. Now color value is null and if you look at the output, you see that it has been included with the value null. If this value is non nan, again it is included and nan is converted to null. If color value is infinity, Again, it has been included and the value is null. So for nan, null and infinity, json.stringify converts that to null for an object. And if it is an undefined, it does not include that. Now in the case of array, let's say that in the array, I have one undefined value. And if you look at the output here for the array, you see uh, this undefined is included but converted to null in the same way we can have null and null is null you can have infinity infinity is also converted to null and nan that is also uh, converted to null so if you have undefined inside an object then it is not um, being uh, it is omitted by json.stringify and if it is part of an array it is converted to null json.stringify has two more arguments and they are optional these arguments are called replacer and space and both are optional in nature now let us see what is the purpose of replacer uh, argument so let us say that you wish to create a json string of the dog object but you do not want to include color in the output there's one way to do that you can uh, go here and say object dot define property and then take dog and then take dog h property and make its enumerable as 
false. So what, what we are doing the here that we are using property descriptor to make sure that is is not enumerable anymore. And here you see that is is not uh, being part of json.stringify. However, this is not required and you can directly use replacer function to exclude or to replace the output as you wish. You can create a replacer function let's say that function name is rip and it takes two parameters key and value and in this case we want if key is equal to equal to is don't include that means return undefined otherwise return value so here we have created a replacer function which is checking for the key is and if that is there it is returning undefined otherwise it returns the value and here you can pass the replacer function and if you look at the output now you see that uh, the is is uh, excluded from the output from here if we return null you see that now is is included however the value is null but the real value was 7 so you can use replacer function to replace output the way is your requirement instead of uh, writing replacer function here you can also use uh, arrow function and directly can write that their key and value and here we can say that And we should get exactly the same output undefined and it is working fine so in this way you can use replacer function it is very powerful when you are uh, working with a real application the third parameter is the space what it does it you you can pass uh, the space value and you see that uh, here we are getting the output the maximum is 10 and as you see that it is creating the space uh, in the output on given on the given value so json.stringify is very powerful we always use it keep in mind three important thing that you should be using replacer function and and can replace the output as per your requirement uh, json.stringify can be used on an object it can be used on on an array for object if a property is value is undefined it would not get included in the output however if undefined is part of an array it would be included as a null for other values like null nan and infinity the value is always null so i hope you find this uh, video useful uh, thank you for watching it